So yeah, uh, we had an intro, but again, voice meter was being a bit of a pain. So yeah, I'm very tired, guys. Uh, I'm changing up my diet, and also I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule, and it's been a bit of a task trying to do that. I'm going to do my damnedest to not try and fall asleep, but you know that if I do, I mean, it's not from the fact that I'm bored, it's the fact that I'm literally so tired that I can barely keep my eyes open. Borderline narcoleptic. Borderline, yeah. And also, yeah, just it's just how it is. So, when last we left off, things were, you know, pretty much coming to an end. Seeing as how this is the last episode of the of the arc, I would say, you know, a resolution is about guaranteed here. So my guess is probably that Uzui shielded Tanjiro from certain death and himself will die from doing so. That'll suck. Yeah. Well, it's just like, again, I feel like they're going to end the series with there being like basically no Hashira left except for maybe original dudes and butterfly girl. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. All I know is that... Who's excited for if they go on a field trip with Watermelon Girl next season, though? Like, I don't know if that's going to happen at some point, but... Oh, uh... I like Watermelon Lady. She's hot. Of course you do. (laughs) The love Hashira is what she's known as. Rightly so. Yeah. Yeah. But she is waifu material. Well, she's bad... Well, hopefully she's badass with the sword. I, I still haven't seen her fight yet, but... Also, you know, she's a little bit of a ditz, but eh, some people are. That's just how it is. Anyway, we have uh, the last episode of the Entertainment District Arc, No Matter How Many Lives. Cute up here. Let me go ahead and get this up on screen, and uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Oh! Oh! oh. Wake up, big bro. You're late for a school bus. What's a school bus? <laughs> Damn. Oh. 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 What? This is actually, I had no tissues and had really bad to remove two boogers from my nose, and I haven't got to wash my hands yet. Look at her. Oh, he said he was immune to poison, but even him, dude, like this poison is like next level. Oh, Nez, I can do it. Nez? That's why. That's why he was all right. <laughs> Very cool. He's a lot. Oh no. He's gonna smack her. <laughs> I really don't. Hi. Yeah. Hello. Me heal you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
これは一体どういうことだ毒が消えたイエーイ<笑><笑>あ、well well、あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Ah, nice. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, kitty, man. Hey, 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 Oh, they're both fading away. You can see. Just say your goodbyes. You don't have long. この世でたった二人の兄弟なんだから、ロスできたたくさんの人に恨まれ、味方してくれる人なんていない。だからせめて二人だけはお互いを罵り合ったらダメだ。フラッシュバックトゥディーンパイ。生まれてくる前に何度も殺されそうになり、生まれてからも邪魔でしかなく。これらのような弱い体だったが、必死で生きていた。醜い声や要望を預けられ、汚いと言って石を投げ。俺は
さお前らは鬼となり俺のように十二気づき俺は何度生まれ変わっても必ず鬼になる幸せそうな他人を許さない必ず奪って取り立てる九太郎になるお前は俺と違ったんじゃないかってことだもっといい店にいたなら真っ当な花魁に普通の親元に生まれていたなら両家に生まれていたなら上品な娘になっていたんじゃないか染まりやすい素直な性格のお前だ俺が育てたためにお前はこうなっただけで俺の唯一の心残りはお前だったな、yeah. 地獄かお兄ちゃんどこなの出たいよ何とかしてそっちが出口お前はもう俺についてくるんじゃねえなんで待てよ私ついてくんだね謝るから許してよお兄ちゃんのこと見にくいなんて思うくないよ悔しかったの負けて悔しかったの私のせいで負けたって認めたくなかったのいつも足引っ張ってごめんなさいねえお兄ちゃんお前とはもう兄弟でも何でもないお前は反対の方明るい方へ行けお,おいやだやだ離れない絶対離れないから一人にしないで置いてたら許さないのよずっと一緒にいるんだもん約束したの覚えてないの俺たちは二人なら最強だ寒いのも腹ペコなのも全然減っちゃら約束するずっと一緒だ絶対離れない一番下だ上限の6とはいえ上限を倒したわけだ実にめでたいことだなそうですよ随分遅かったですね<笑>遅いですよそもそも来るのが遅いよ<笑>左手と左目を失ってどうするつもりだ俺は引退するさすがにもう戦えねえよ親方様も許してくださるだろう柱は煉獄が抜けた後空席のままお前程度でもいないよりはマシだ死ぬまで戦えいや若手は育ってるぜ確実にお前の大嫌いな若手がなかまど炭治郎がよくやった天元炭治郎禰豆子善逸のすけ。考えた。You know what? 100年 Now what? that we've seen the poison on Uzui, that kind of looks similar. Yeah, I would、so、say I if Nezuko, if... Nezuko、uh, got to him, maybe she could reverse it. If that's what it is, like, I mean, just, it makes me kind of wonder if, like, that's、uh, if it's not a poi- if it's why not he's poison, blind and everything、curse. is it, if it was demon poison, and it's just like he's obviously if he was like the leader of the Husher, he's probably strong enough to fight it off for quite some time, but maybe it's slowly killing him. Yeah. <laughs> あの男の元へ届く鬼仏寺無惨お前は必ず私たちが私たちの代で倒すよう分かってなさいそれから薬と手ぬぐいを<笑>はい父上父上父上行くか無限所上限が鬼狩りにやられたよかったです天元様ああ凱旋しよう
Well, for the most part. Uh, he yeah. is missing a hand and a mouth. <laughs> I still have a punctured lung. <laughs> it's like, I still have a punctured lung, you assholes. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> I still, like, I still <laughs> might die. <laughs> the sword. Oh, and look who it is. Yeah. I think it is going to be her. Watermelon Wafu. So this is from, Act from Crunchyroll, actually. And this is the official trailer, so might as well give it a watch. So there's him. There she is. the same swordsmiths that make the demon slayer swords maybe i don't know so i would say if that's the case then maybe we'll learn some of the secrets that they have also we'll get to see two other hashira in action that we haven't seen before i mean again also with what happened with Tanjiro at the end of uh, at the end of this arc, where it looked like he activated the the you know the birthmark that he or the uh, scar that he has, it looked like the the flame uh, that he was told about, you know, the inheritor of the sun breathing technique would have that, and he he showed that he had it. Again, this. What I'm thinking is because of his father, his father was a Hashira, and I think he was like the last of like the sun breathing technique, and I think Muzan knew this, and after finding out that he had a lot of children, he did everything he could to kill them, basically ending the sun breathing line because I think Muzan knew that Sun the sun breathing technique had the best opportunity to end him. I mean, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Maybe he'll end up combining sun breathing with water breathing to make like a steam breathing or well, something. Well, he it looks like he's taking that what he's learned from water breathing and he's incorporating it in because it looked like that. It looked like he was incorporating the different styles in all together. Mm -hmm. And when you and well, he even said he did. It was like this is how. This must be how past demon slayers have survived this long as they came up with their own styles. Well, yeah. They did everything what originated, for each of their own Well, and plus everything originated styles. from sun breathing. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it's just like how most martial arts techniques that exist in the, in the Far East stem from the Shaolin monks. Because you look at every style of karate that has happened... Or every style of karate, kung fu, uh, wing, uh, like everything, Wing Chun, uh, heck, even bo even like uh, swords, uh, swords play and weapons, and the weapons that are used, most of them originate from the Shaolin monks, and it's unbelievable how it spread. Like karate spread whenever a uh, a fisherman uh, who was based in uh, Japan went to China came back with a Chinese wife and two children, and basically he started the karate school in Okinawa. That's, that's one of the original stories that, of how karate came to uh, Japan. And there's, there's no real like uh, knowledge that we have to confirm how he, how he learned those techniques and who taught him. But a lot of people have surmised that he studied with Shaolin monks for a while, and after studying with them, he basically went back home and decided to teach the people of his homeland. I mean, that to me is that to me is pretty cool. Uh, but in terms of everything that I've seen here so far, this is this was a great this was a great arc. I mean, I think in terms of 
where it stands, I still think Mugen Train is probably my favorite arc thus far in terms of like its emotional impact. Yeah. But that doesn't take away from what this achieved. It. Like, this was definitely the best in terms of animations. Oh, before. God. The animation... Like, the Mugen Train animation was awesome in the movie. Yes. But, like, the one episode that they did, like, you know... Uh, I think the next to the last episode it was. Like, the animation in that was just... Insane. Some of the best I've ever seen, ever. Yes. So. I mean... And it, and it again, that's UFO Table basically still being the ones who are on the cutting edge of 3D animation in terms of Japanese anime, in terms of Japanese style animation. And it's, it's beautiful to watch their work come to fruition and literally just, it, it, they're changing the game, dude. Like, it, if that's the bar and it keeps getting moved up and up and up and up, the rest of the the rest of the animation uh, animation world in Japan has to catch up, and I don't think we I don't think we've even come close to hitting what they're capable of. <laughs> My guess is a lot of them won't try that hard to catch up. Well, I feel like uh, I don't know. Like, well, yes, and I, no. I'm not trying to like down talk like. Um, you know, at Japanese animation studios or anything, but ever since like Akira happened, right? Like mm-hmm. it obviously increased like from there, like that they sort of inspired what was possible and everything. You well, know? yeah. And um, now hopefully Demon Slayer might inspire a new, like what's possible and make a lot of people like move forward with it. But I feel like animation studios in Japan for these kind of shows are kind of like, sitting on a spot where they feel like they're good, like they know what they can do with a budget, and, you know, they just, they make what works, but they don't really try so hard to go, like, as over the top as this has. Yeah. But I'm hoping I'm wrong and that, like, a lot of them will see this and just be like, yo, we should step it up and, well, like, do, well, you know, start doing stuff like this. Certain certain animation companies do rest on their laurels a lot, and the one that I think, like, the most infamous one that I can think of is Sunrise. Because Sunrise, in the 90s, were it. Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star, like, some of the biggest anime ever to hit. And a lot of people see those as, like, water... Like, especially Cowboy Bebop as, like, a watershed moment. But more for a narrative, I think. More for narrative and style than for, like, full-on animation, even though the Mm -hmm. animation was still really good. But... Again, they rested on their laurels, and Sunrise basically is now a shell of itself. And I'm hoping that that doesn't happen to studios like Bones and Madhouse and Mappa, uh, Ufo Table. I I hope that they all, and I know that the one that that had the biggest hit over the last few years, Kyoto, with that fucking psychopath burning down the the staff building. That still that still irks me to this day. But the fact that they've rebuilt and they have they're basically coming back stronger than ever, that's inspiring to me. And I know that I, I know there's some talky heads on Twitter who and I, I know not to judge the whole bevy of Twitter, but there were a lot of people who were saying, "Wow, they're really putting the like I celebrate that man. He really put the dege- like Japanese degeneracy in check." People died, man. I don't know who the fuck said that or what they were talking about, but... uh, People died, man. I hope your house burns down. I hope that, uh, again, I hope you suffer the same exact fate as as, as as like Kyoto. You know, you lose everything. You literally lose some of your best people who had families of their own, had lives of their own. That's like that, how inhuman. How inhuman do you have to be to celebrate that kind of stuff? There's very few things that I would just like haul off and punch somebody in the face if I heard them say in person. If I heard someone say that, I that'd it, be one of them. Yes. Say if I heard that someone say that at a, at a convention, I wouldn't care if security escorted me out or I got arrested. I'd punch him in the face. 
I mean, dude, like, the again, I just, I can't believe that people are willing to go that way. Like, basically, like, like that would be one of them, and then, like, it's going to be people bragging about things that I think make you inhuman. If I ever catch someone doing that in front of me, I'm probably going to end up with an assault charge. Yeah. It's like, if anyone ever, like, brags about torturing an animal or sexually assaulting someone I'm probably gonna beat oh, their fucking ass the whole thing uh, I, I know I haven't talked about this but the whole Cain Velasquez situation you heard about that the MMA fighter uh yes yeah yeah I don't blame him at all no I don't either as a matter of fact my only regret is that Cain did not get his hands on him and kill him with his bare hands that's my I mean, only it, regret I I don't want to wish that he had killed the guy just because I know he would end up in a lot worse water than he already is, but I I don't think that he should have anything held against him for beating his fucking ass. Like, oh, you know, Christ. If I, if, if I were, like, to make it right, the only thing I would say, like, to Kane is, like, number one, Kane, you can't kill him. Yeah. You can't kill him. But you can beat the Christ out of him. You have five minutes alone with him. There you go. And honestly, I think that should be and see, even, a just like, punishment. Like letting someone beat the Christ out of someone like that is still probably less than what I would want to do if oh. I was in that situation because my brain goes more to the uh, guy from Firefly that tortures people by like fucking torturing them until they're about to die and then fucking defibrillates them back and he's like you almost died and he's like welcome back you know and then keeps going yeah. <laughs> like that's for, the kind of shit I would want to do to me, somebody like for that. me the worst one that would be uh, I could for say, all of y'all who are not in the loop we're talking about someone who like molested a child that's that, uh, again rapists yeah. it's a, a full on rapist and I feel like those kind of people deserve to be tortured until they're basically dead and then brought back and tortured some more I think for me I think the number one thing that can, that should be done chemical castration and what I mean by that is you literally give them uh, like medicine that makes them unable to feel anything you basically kill their their libido and drive and basically you force them to live as a husk of what they once were and incapable of doing anything. After, of course, you know, the parents get their fair shot at, like, beating the shit out of him. That's yeah, just, that's what I think, anyway. I mean, I, I think people that do that kind of shit should be in prison for life. Oh, uh, I easily. don't think they should be allowed out, out of a cell where it, they have the opportunity to hurt like, anyone else. If it's if it's a thing, like, say it's like a night, like a, like an eight, Teen year old boy and a seventeen year old girl, there should be there, no, there need to be standards. I, that's not what I'm talking no, about. No, no, there need to be standards. I'm if talking it's, about it's adults who do rape, things to small children. Yeah, if it's rape of that matter, yeah, that person deserves to be in jail for a if it's a, if it's an eighteen year old and a seventeen year old years. consensually. If if yes. but still like an eighteen year old yeah, that rapes a seventeen year old, I still think they should be in yes. prison for life. What? Well, but if it's an eighteen year old and a seventeen year old, and the dad just gets pissed off and said, "Oh, that's statutory." And, yeah, yeah. No, not for statutory like that of that level, but I'm talking actual rapists. Yes, actual that force on themselves rapists. on someone should be put where they cannot hurt anyone else. For, I think the minimum should be 12 years, if not if not 20. I think the minimum should be life. I don't think you should be allowed out to hurt someone else. Oh, once you've done, trust that me, you're that dude, kind of person in prison, they won't last 10 years. They won't last 10 years. Prisoner, like, prison systems have a hell of a reputation of how they treat rapists. Especially child, child rapists. There was mm-hmm. one guy who literally, like, added another life sentence to his to his thing because he's just like, he kept talking about what he did outside. And when I found out that he was a child molester, I killed him. I literally wrung his neck until he until he stopped breathing. And then I snapped his neck. Yeah, and they shouldn't have given that dude another life sentence for doing anything. Doing no, that. I agree, but he took it. He was just like, I don't care. I'm already in here for life anyway. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I honestly salute that guy. I don't know what he did to start with, but I feel like that's a good he, step towards you know making up for it. He he accidentally killed someone when he was 17. It was a by accident. It, well, damn. It was a it was a uh, 
gun it was a gun violation. He shot he shot at someone and the bullet basically hit someone who was passing by on the street and they died and basically they got him for So uh, basically he did something criminally negligent. Yes. That's I feel like him killing the child molester should have been grounds for them to end his sentence for accidentally killing someone. I agree, but again, the justice system is not fair in this country. It's nope. never fair. All right, but anywho, I'm tired. I uh, I think we've sort of lost the lost the topic. But this was oh, a, yeah. this yeah. was a great I, I really don't, can't remember how we got here at this point. <laughs> But uh, because either. of what I said, I would do to people if I heard them talking shit about. Oh, what happened with Kyoto? Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, thank you all so much, and we hope that you all enjoyed this arc of Demon Slayer. I, I mean, I did. So let us know what you all think, and let us know if y'all are excited for the next arc that's coming up, the Swordsmith's Village arc. So until next time, everyone. Signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace. Charge.